Hi, today I'm going to explain how to bond guinea pigs. Lots of single piggies end up in rescues, and while very rarely there is a guinea pig that cannot live with others, sadly most that are given this label simply had too small a cage or weren't bonded properly. Some people think that once a guinea pig has fallen out with their cage mate, they must be alone. But just like us, guinea pigs will get on with some piggies and not with others. Doesn't mean that they have to be alone forever. 99% of guinea pigs need to live with a friend and can be successfully bonded. The 1% that aren't as easy still need company, but either from a piggy living in a side-by-side -side cage to theirs, or if they're a male that can be neutered and paired with a sow or two. No guinea pig should be kept alone without trying all of these options first. When choosing a new friend for your guinea pig, it's important to consider their compatibility. Every successful pair or group has just one dominant piggy. You risk the bond failing if you try to keep two dominant guinea pigs together. Some people recommend bonding a baby to a single adult. While this does make the initial bonding easier, it is a risk, as when the baby hits puberty at 6 to 12 months old, they could challenge for dominance and break that bond. Because of this, I recommend going to a rescue and bonding with an adult. Firstly, always quarantine your new guinea pig for two weeks. This is important in case the newbie is carrying an invisible illness. Having a vet check does not remove the need for this quarantine period. If the new piggy develops no symptoms over the two weeks, then you can go ahead and bond. Before you start bonding, you will need a large neutral space to use. This can be a run or even your kitchen floor. But bear in mind that bonding can take a whole day, so it does need to be practical. You will need hay and a few treats, some hides with multiple exits, a towel and a spare cage just in case. Always begin bonding in a neutral territory with a big pile of hay. Only use hides that are scent free and have more than one exit so no one can be cornered. Put the guinea pigs in at the same time as each other. Expect dominance behaviour. They need to sort out their hierarchy and this can take some time. As long as blood isn't drawn and they aren't giant bull fighting, do not separate them. Normal dominance behaviour includes chasing, teeth chattering, rumbling, humping, nipping, etc. This can look really scary to us, but it is normal to them and it's how they sort out who is boss. Leave them together for several hours until they've all had a snooze. If things settle down, add in some treats or some veg scattered about. Once everything has been calm for a while, you can move them to their freshly cleaned, 100% scent free cage to live together. It's always recommended to have one of everything per guinea pig. So if you have a pair, that's two hides, two bowls, two water bottles, etc. Even with this, the guinea pigs will likely establish dominance again once they're in their cage, but it should be much quicker this time. Here is a reminder of the cage size requirements. Remember that for guinea pigs, bonding must be done all in one day, not tried again over several days. They actually have to start sorting their hierarchy again from scratch every time they're separated. Just a last note, consider bonding through your local rescue. Many offer a bonding service, which means that they'll take the time to choose a guinea pig compatible with yours, and they'll do the introductions for you. Good luck and happy bonding!